a cider drinker I drinks it all of the day I am a cider drinker It soothes all me troubles away O-R-O-R-A O-R-O-R-A Proper jobs, want to try some, young lad? Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And I've just got back from a music festival today, hence why I've got a really burnt face and some really chipped black nails as well. God, it was just an amazing time. But I've actually got a couple of ciders left over for it, so I thought, well, why not do a cider review after this? And my cider of choice for the music festival was Blackthorn Cider. Really, it's either this or Strongbow that you use for festivals if you're a cider lover, because um, they're affordable, and to be honest, you know, they're very mass-produced as well, so you can get them all over the place. You don't really have to look far for these things, so um, if you haven't actually heard of Blackthorn before, then you've obviously not been doing any shopping at all. But anyway, enough about that. Time to give you some details on this Blackthorn Cider, eh? Blackthorn Cider comes in these 440ml cans, which you can get in a variety of different pack sizes as well. You can get them in 4s, 15s or 24s. And you can also get it in a 2 litre plastic bottle, or you can get it on tap in quite a few establishments as well. So it's quite widely well known, this one. It's 4.7% in volume, and despite saying it's a dry cider, it's actually medium dry. You can only get the dry variety in the West Country, so um, it's actually a bit misleading, the title of this one, but hey-ho, there you go. Now, the price is also a bit random. It all depends on where you actually get it from. Um, a four-pack around my place usually costs around £3.20, although you can definitely get it for cheaper, and you can also get it for a lot more expensive, too. So um, just have a shop around, but around about £3 is the general price for a four-pack. So there we have it, all the details for you. Now, like I said, this is actually a really misleading cider because you can only get the dry variety in the West Country. This can that we're holding right here is the medium dry. And the description actually does say, Made in Shepton Mallet in the heart of the West Country, Blackthorn is pressed using bittersweet English apples which deliver its distinctive crisp dry taste. Now that's actually really misleading, like I say. But there you go, you can only get the medium dry variety here. Don't know why they're not bringing the actual dry variety over to this part of the country. Maybe they think we're not good enough for it, you never know. But um, it's actually a bit stronger, the dry one as well. It's 5% in volume, whereas this one's only 4.7%. So, again, an average, you know, typical side of strength that you can get off the store shelves. Um, can design-wise, it's actually going for a very similar design for the Crompton Oak Cider, which I'm not going to mention again because that was crap. But, uh, yeah, you know, the little, the little um, silhouetted tree there. But, um, you know, it's, it's good. You know, there's nothing really remarkable about it, but at least it's making the effort to try and stand out for most other canned ciders out there. So, overall, a very nice design, and, um, yeah, it does kind of catch your eye. Like I say, you know, price-wise, you've just got to do your shopping around, basically, because you can get this in so many places, and they all charge so many different prices, it, and it's always constantly on offer, from what I can tell as well. So, yeah, 320 it's only a bit of a guideline, so just um, take, it, take that price with a pinch of salt. But, one thing left to do, and that's to get this can open, and boy, I'm looking forward to it, because I really need a cider right now to cool myself down. So let's get this old can open. Glad it didn't fizz on me. Now let's just get a whiff. Hmm, it's a uh, typical can cider smell, really. You know, it's got a bit of a bit of a vinegary, vinegary smell to it. You know, nothing really outstanding about it, but there we go. Alright, let's just pour it in the glass to see what it looks like. There we go, it's pretty much normal cider colour. It's a little bit darker than most other ones out there. You know, a little bit golden, but, you know, pretty much nothing out of the ordinary. So, again, quite a vinegary smell in the glass as well. So, you know, you can tell it's just like a traditional cider smell, really, that comes from a can. But, one thing left to do, to give it a taste. So, bottoms up. That's good. That's good. It's not the best tasting cider I've ever had, but you know, it's definitely not a terrible tasting one. Like, uh, like I say, Crompton Oaks was just absolute garbage. Never going to buy that ever again. 
actually, let you in on the secret, I tipped some of that down the sink. It was that bad. And I never do that to ciders, so it just shows you how crap that was. But no, this one's just a really pleasantly nice tasting cider, to be honest. Let's just get a second opinion to be sure. Hmm. You can definitely tell it's not a dry cider, because um, it's got a little hint of sweetness to it as well. The aftertaste is especially sweet, considering. So, uh, yeah, they really do need to change the description on this, because it's very misleading. It's definitely not dry at all. You know, there's no... There's not even any real bitterness to it, if I'm being honest, you know, because it says it's supposed to have a bittersweet taste to it, but it doesn't really have any bitterness or sharpness to it at all. So, uh, yeah, very, very misleading description, but overall it is a very nice tasting cider. Now, it doesn't say it's um, got any sugars or sweeteners in it, so I don't know whether that's true or not, but um, if it doesn't, then they're obviously getting the sweetness from somewhere in their methods, that's for sure. It's just Yeah, it's just overall very nice, pleasant, pleasant cider. There's really nothing outstanding about it. The taste doesn't really, like, jump out and hit you in the face as if, you know, to say, you know, wow, we're drinking a great cider here. But the, the variety that you can get this in and the price, which is overall pretty good for canned ciders, this is the way to go, to be honest. I, I definitely recommend Blackthorn over other canned ciders out there. But, um... If you're looking for really nice tasting ciders, then definitely look elsewhere if you want to have your mind blown, because this is just pretty average, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I'm going I'm to give Blackthorn Cider a 6 out of 10. Like I say, just above average, you know, there's nothing bad about it, but really, there's nothing absolutely amazing about it either, so... There we go. Another episode of the Cider Drinker over and done with you guys. Like I say, if you're going to go to any festivals or anything, definitely get Blackthorn Cider. It's definitely the music festival cider of choice for me. But if you're going to have it just for like a lazy day out or something, I'd probably look elsewhere, to be honest. But nevertheless, I'm going to finish this can off now, seeing as it's the last one in the pack. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Take care.